So that looks like tetanus waiting to happen. Ahoy, ahoy. So I am super excited right now because literally like on the delivery truck coming very soon is my 1925 Singer 99. I was not planning on buying this machine, but I was researching and looking around and came across this one that was on sale for stupidly cheap. It does have a few issues, but aside from something with the wiring, I'm confident there are issues I can fix myself. And I kind of like the idea of converting it to hand crank, so maybe I can avoid dealing with the wiring altogether. I'm also nervous because I'm afraid, well, what if there's extra unknown issues lurking inside? But luckily, this kind of machine is an easier one to find people who know how to fix it if I get in too far over my head. So I'm going to stare out the window and wait for UPS to come and then and get to the grand unboxing. Oh my god, here she is! There's my cat in the background for an idea of scale. These were a little bit smaller than the previous models. The idea was that they're meant to be more portable, but at about 30 pounds of cast iron, uh, I think it's really only portable if you're Dwayne the Rock Johnson. So as you can see, uh, she's, she's pretty dirty. I am very happy though, because it looks, it looks, I haven't gotten really in there, but it looks like aside from the bobbin and the cover, all of the mechanism and the bobbin race is still there. Oh, there's supposed to be an oil wick, but that's, it's easy to replace. Um, the major issue is that, I mean, just aside from being dirty as hell, why am I so up close? Um, the, that, that, ew, that's so gross. The, right there, the little, it's a thing that the bolt that holds the motor on, and it, it came like this, so this wasn't a postal problem, this was just separately, the little piece that holds the bolt in there is broken. That might be fixable if the motor still functions, or, uh, yeah, and the belt is toast, but that's ex to be expected. But if, if the motor still works, that might be fixable, or maybe I will just convert it to a hand crank after all. Um, the person I bought it from, they said, uh, they said that the, the motor is functional, that, but that when they plugged it in, it just automatically went on high power. To me, that says there was a wiring issue. Um, and so I am not going to be plugging it in just in case something that for them was a small wiring issue turns out to be um, a large wiring issue. <laughs> but I think, I think it's going to be in good shape after I get in there and clean it up. And just here's the underside of the chassis there. Uh, it looks, it looks fine. I tested the, that it all moves. It's just nasty. It looks like spiders have been living in there. My cat's looking for the spiders. So I just popped off the plug there. And as you can see, another electrical concern is all of that lovely neon green corrosion. So I am, we'll see how it goes, but right now I'm very much in favor of just taking off the motor and making it a hand crank. Yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna get to work on cleaning it though. Let's see what kind of improvements can be made. And here is what it looks like with the faceplate off. About the same state as the rest of the machine. It's really dry and dirty, but I'm trying to do this one hand. Oops. It's moving. It's just ugh, so dry. 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 Little concern there. I think. Isn't that supposed to be where the timing marks are? Either I'm looking in the wrong spot or um, they're not there, which could be potentially problematic. <laughs> but everything moves at least. It's just very dirty and in need of lubrication. I took the motor off so I can inspect it better and also so I could clean behind it. Press just without heavy 
the motor alone is. I think just the motor weighs more than the modern sewing machine that I have. That would be the regular machine. My serger is more industrial. But so here, that dangerous looking thing was the bracket that bolted it. My cat just knocked a box over. That bracketed it onto the back of the machine and it was just kind of held together with a bolt. So that looks like tetanus waiting to happen. And look at the wiring. It's, oh yuck. So the person, oh my God, and that just came undone just now. That was still attached a moment ago. Yeah, so the, the person I bought this from said that they plugged it in to test the motor and I'm feeling like they're lucky they didn't get electrocuted. So, so yeah, it's possible that the motor is still in good condition and just needs new wiring or maybe I will just do hand crank like I was saying. Also, the other thing, and then the other thing that I discovered that I do not like is this deep, deep ding. That's right where the motor was. My hands are so dirty. I'm that broken bracket, so I'm guessing that's from having a loose, heavy-ass motor bouncing around. So this, well, right now it looks slightly worse than it actually is because the screws that were holding that plate on there like, I was afraid one was permanently frozen. That's how stuck they were. So I, was, I kept, like, putting all this oil inside. But I finally got it off and can finally get it clean. And hopefully after that, it won't be such a, a nightmare. See, and look at that. That is just the initial crap just along the surface there. So this, this is why I couldn't get the bolt out. And there's probably more. Oh, God. So gross. And right here, yeah, it's a little rusty. It's not looking great. I popped off the little clutch on the hand wheel. This is another case where it looks a bit sludgier. Take that off. Can I take that off? Yes. It looks a little sludgier. I mean, it is very dirty, but it looks a little sludgier maybe than it is because um, the screw was really tight and I put some oil on there. And... Focus. So I'm just gonna clean that bit up too. So this was as far as I was gonna get. It's visibly a little bit cleaner. However, that little screw, I could not get out at all. So I couldn't get all the way into the bobbin area. I've got the motor off. I'm gonna figure out what to do about that. And I am ready to figure out what the next steps are gonna be. So thank you for coming along and watching on this first chapter of The Sewing Machine Adventure. Be sure to subscribe to see more of where this process goes as I restore this machine to its former glory and hopefully start making some stuff on it. Thanks so much and y'all enjoy now. Bye.